We're done. I want you to feel it. Wow. Feel it. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's there. <laughs> Jeez. My name is Morgan, I'm 21, and today we'll be inserting a Nexplan implant into my arm. They said that it was a three-year contraceptive, but it works for about four years. It gets inserted right into your arm, and it, it's easy. I'm getting this implant because I want to be safe and healthy, and I think that this method of birth control would really work for me. I feel like I would forget to take the pill, so I feel like this is a better option for me. I have never tried any other forms of birth control. I have tried condoms, yes. <laughs> I don't think I'm very nervous about getting the implant just because I think that I am ready mentally and physically to get this procedure done, and I've thought about it for a while, so I think it's a good time in my life to get it. I try to keep myself calm, but I'm also kind of afraid of needles, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> The first thing I'm going to do is measure the exact site where I want to insert the implant. So I'm going to make a little mark. We can insert the device during the first five days of your cycle or any time after that as long as I'm sure you're not pregnant. Okay. And your test is negative today, your pregnancy test. Okay, so this is where we're going to insert it. You're such a calm patient, I know that. Uh, we would hope, but once the needle comes out, so am I going to be able to feel this in my arm? You'll, yes, you'll be able to feel it with your fingers. Is, do they move ever? Like... Not if I insert it in the right place. That's why I try to avoid this sulcus area. Okay. So it should not move. And if at any point you gain weight and we can't feel the rod, we can see it with an ultrasound image okay. or an x-ray. This is what the dentist uses. It's lidocaine. Mm. You ready? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. How Not was bad. that? Not bad. You'll be fine. It's worse than your gums. I agree. 100%. So is this going to make my whole arm go numb, like this area, or what? The numbness will probably only last 20 minutes. Everybody's different. You may feel that your fingers are a little numb. And we're almost done. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> You may have some unpredictable bleeding. 10% of women want their rods, their next one on, removed because of that. We're starting, okay? Okay. You okay? Yeah. Jane, you're almost done. How are you doing? Great. Can't go on again. This is a next one on device. It is a progestin only method. It thickens cervical mucus to prevent pregnancy. It's highly effective, is as effective as sterilization, but totally reversible. We're done, I want you to feel it. Wow. Feel it. Oh yeah, okay. it's there. <laughs> Jeez. Your periods may not be normal, mm -hmm. or you may not get a period, which is wonderful. And I want you to look at the uh, incision, it's really small. We're gonna wipe your arm and put some Seri strips on there. I expect you to feel exactly the same today. Okay. Great. Thank you. So all I expect is a little bit of bruising, and you're bruising already. You're very fair. I know. I bruise like fruit. <laughs> I bruise so easy. When I touched it, it just felt like a a little rod in my arm. So I'm just going to put this dressing on and I want you to leave it on for 24 hours and keep it dry. This is very different from an IUD that I would insert in your uterus and that I don't expect you to have any cramps or discomfort. The only thing you could have is some unpredictable bleeding. If at any time you want to get pregnant, we can remove it and fertility is not delayed at all after removal. You can remove this rod anytime you want. You don't have to keep it for four years. Okay, awesome. I just got my implant and I'm feeling great. I mean, there was no pain in the procedure and I feel fine. The implant was inserted around here. It was surprisingly totally painless. The shot, a little scary and intimidating to look at, but it wasn't bad. I don't plan on taking the implant out 
um, before it's expected to come out just because I am not in a committed relationship. My advice to girls um, that are considering getting this form of birth control, do it. I think that if you are not good about taking things or really scattered or have a lot of things going on in your life that this is a great option. Hey guys, it's Morgan. So I'm giving you a little bit of an update. Um, it's been a month since I've gotten the birth control implant. Right after the procedure, I bruised pretty bad. I bruised really easy, so it wasn't a huge shock to me, but um, I did have like a hefty bruise for like two to three weeks, but that was totally fine. Um, it was only sore for two to three days after and it totally healed normal. I did have one day where I woke up and I had like horrible cramps, but um, I think I was getting my period and that's just the first one since I got the implant, which is totally normal, but nothing has happened like that since. I did get my period um, a week after when I was supposed to. Um, my cycle's every like three weeks, so I got out on the fourth week, which is normal, 28 days. Ever since I got my period though, I haven't really stopped spotting so um it's nothing crazy it's pretty light um but it's just there which is kind of annoying but other than that it's been going good you just kind of forget about it and live your life but uh, if the spotting doesn't stop i'm definitely just gonna call my doctor and um talk about that with her but otherwise everything is great and I'm happy I did it, so. Thanks for coming with me to get my first birth control implant. For more firsts like this, uh, subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel. See ya.